I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an interesting question from previous test paper on data analysis. The question here is, the results of a university examination had a mean of the 55 and a standard deviation of 13. The professor wished to build the marks by converting all the marks so that the mean is now 70 with the standard deviation of 10. What would happen to a mark of 40 after the conversion? You can pause the video, think about it, answer, and then look into my suggestion. Now this question could be solved by taking into consideration the z-score. Does that ring a bell? What is z-score? Well, z-score is the number of <coughs> standard deviations that a datum is from the mean, right? So we are looking for number of standard deviations that a datum is from the mean, right? So mathematically, we could write z-score as if the data is, let's say, represented by x and mean is represented by x bar divided by the standard deviation, let's say, well, I mixed up the terms, let's say mu. So I should normally use mu for the, the average, but anyway. So that's the mean for us divided by the standard deviation, okay? So that gives us the conversion, right? Now in this particular case, what are we given? We are given mean, so we are given mean equals to 55. Standard deviation, let's say sigma, is given to us as 13. And the value of x is given to us as, as 40. So, so the value of x is equals to 40, correct? So in this case, the z-score, the initial z-score is, let me write down z-score, is actually 40, take away the mean value 55, divided by the standard deviation 13, right? So let's calculate this value. We get... 40 take away 55 divided by 13, which is equals to, in decimals, minus 1.1538, let us say, right? So that is the z-score. Now, when you change the mean and the standard deviation in this process, z-score should remain same. That's the whole idea. So now, we want to find what is going to happen to a data point which is whose value is 40, right? So what is a new value of 40? That is what we want to know. And we know that z-score is same. So keeping the z-score same, which is minus, so we'll write here minus 1.1538 should be equal to the new value of this 40 with the new mean. We're converting the marks so that the mean is now 70 and the standard deviation is 10. So that equation should be satisfied, right? So we have to solve this equation to get the value of new score. So that should be times this. So that means minus 1.1538 times 10 plus 70, right? So that is the answer. So let's do it. So we'll multiply this value by 10 right and then we are going to add 70 to it so that gives us a value of 58.46 right let's round it to one decimal place and so we can say what would happen to the mark of 40 so our answer is 40 will get changed to 58.5 Right? So that is the answer and that is how you should be doing. Because whenever you do such changes, 
then the z-score remains the same. That's the whole idea. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.